Perfect. Welcome to Tips for Gamers. Today we're going to show you guys how to upgrade quarterbacks in Madden 23 franchise mode. Let's see if this video can get 300 likes. Also comment down below. Do you guys think Justin Fields can be an elite quarterback? And what do you think they should draft with their first overall pick if they couldn't trade it away? So we're going to separate this video into parts. Okay, the first part is going to be user play. The second part is going to be simulation. They do not correlate. So keep that in mind. If you followed our channel for a while, you'll know that simulation league quarterbacks are vastly different than user play quarterbacks if you want to be successful. So we're going to also be coming with analytics. We have these analytics on our site. So how many times did a quarterback get awareness upgraded if you upgraded his field gen, strong arm, improviser, or scrambler? You know, how many times did the throw power get upgraded and, you know, and all of that. So we have these analytics. So that's what we're coming to you with is analytics as well. And once again, they are on our site. So there are three main things you want to look for when it comes to user play quarterbacks. All right. We'll give you analytics as to why we're saying this. Okay. Number one, you want to look at speed. Having a fast quarterback is great because trying to make a quarterback fast is, is basically impossible. All right. You might as well just let that ship sail and wave goodbye to it because by the time you get a slow quarterback fast he's going to be 100 years old and he's going to be worrying about sweeping his garage and making sure his bird feeder is full all right speed out of 10 upgrades scrambler got one upgrade to speed everyone else got zero agility improviser got two upgrades so it's 20 percent chance on average and scrambler got one all right, acceleration, scrambler got one, everyone else got zero. So speed is one thing that it's either you have it or you don't and trying to get it is gonna be virtually impossible. Okay, the next one is throw power. Throw power is really important because field general got it two out of 10, okay? Two out of 10 times upgrading it, throw power was up there. Improviser got it twice. Strong arm got it once, scrambler got it zero. So throw power is just something, it's one of those two, like you have it, or you don't and trying to get it is a pain in the neck. And then the next one would be stamina and injury. That one, you either have it or you don't. Those are the three main things you look at with a quarterback to decide, this is a quarterback that I like moving forward. And then you can also look at throw style if you can't change the throw style. We do have the best throw style to a video on that. If you guys want to check that out, it'll pop up in the top right corner of your screen. So how you want to upgrade your quarterback and user play, regardless if he's fast, tall, big, ugly, doesn't matter, is you want to upgrade his scrambler and his strong arm. And we're going to go into why that is with the analytics. Okay, so you're going to want to do scrambler about 20 to 30% of the time make it easy say out of 10 upgrades jot it down on a piece of paper i know two to three times out of those 10 i'm going to upgrade scrambler wherever you want to do that and how you want to do it the world's your oyster go ahead and do that and then 70 percent to 80 percent of the time i'm going to do strong arm after that resets just do the exact same thing right make it easy on yourself and that's how you want to do it now we're going to go into why this is based upon the analytics like we mentioned you want to win in every single category that is the big thing winning in every category so awareness the upgrade that's going to give you the most awareness is improviser on average it gave you 15 on average upgrade to awareness scrambler gave you 12 field general gave you 12 strong arm gave you five now why is that important in user play well that's important because awareness is going to do what for you it's going to inflate your quarterbacks overall that's all it's going to do is inflate his overall what in return happens after that your quarterback becomes more expensive I don't want to make him more expensive. Just because my awareness is high on my quarterback does not mean my awareness is going to be high as a user player. Okay, it's not going to help your timing. The only thing that helps timing of a throw is your throw style and you personally of when you push the button. That's it. All right. So awareness is something you don't want to go after. I want it to be as low as possible. And that's why strong arm is going to really help with that because it's going to help knock that down and keep his awareness lower. Scrambler will still push it up. But strong arm is going to keep it lower on average, and it means that you're going to have more money over time. Your quarterback will still be better, but you're going to have it, he'll he won't look as good, but he's still going to be better. You'll notice how good he is compared to the other guys. He's going to be better, and he's going to cost less money, which you can go spend on a really good DN, another offensive lineman, what have you. So the next one is throw power here. Throw power is very important to get correct right out of the gate because it makes things easy on you. You're not going to always get throw power right out of the gate. Justin Fields is an anomaly. All right, he's got you know, best of both worlds. But let's break it down here. Let's say I'm going against someone who has a 94 throw power quarterback and they got an 86 speed. If I upgrade the way I'm upgrading, I'm going to catch or come relatively close to that throw power and they will never come close to my speed. 
Never. And I'm still going to beat him on accuracy and everything else. So my quarterback, even though he doesn't have the same throw power, I'm going to win over time. I'm going to have a better quarterback, and he still may even have a less overall, and I'll pay less money for him. So with upgrading the way we've already talked about upgrading, you'll be winning on awareness. You're not going to inflate it like crazy. Throw power, you'll come close. Okay, throw short accuracy. Scrambler gets 12 on average out of 10 upgrades. 12 to his short throw accuracy. That's a lot. No one else comes close. Field generals at four, improvisers at three, strong arms at one. So that is why we tell you to throw str scrambler into it as well, because scrambler is so high when it comes to the average that you are going to still come close to the other guys and beat them. Okay, you will. Even upgrading it 30% of the time, you're going to be like, wow. Uh, I am competing with these guys on the throw, the throw short accuracy. Okay, let's talk about the medium accuracy. Strong arm has it at the top at 13. Scrambler, 11. Field general, 9. Improviser, 2. So you'll be winning on short throw accuracy and medium throw accuracy. All right, let's talk about deep throw accuracy. This is the one that you won't be as high on. Improviser is absolutely the king of this eight times strong arm four field general four scrambler zero so you're still going to get it you'll get it up improviser if someone wants to just do improviser let them do it okay because they're going to be going crazy on improviser and uh yeah you'll have great deep accuracy but you'll be losing out on several other ones across the board your quarterback won't necessarily be as accurate all right let's break down throw under pressure strong arm and scrambler are tied and they're way in the lead so throw under pressure strong arm got eight out of ten and scrambler got eight out of ten all right now it's not going to all be in one time you'll see two another time you'll you won't see any right so that's kind of how it'll be remember that this these are just averages field general only got two upgrade to throw under pressure improviser only got two as well so throw under pressure you're going to dominate on throw under pressure now let's talk about break sack scrambler had eight improviser had three strong arm had two field general had zero so based on upgrading the statistics show that you will win on throw under pressure break sack you'll also win on medium accuracy short accuracy and you'll come close on deep accuracy relatively close throw power you'll be consistent awareness you'll be leading on that as well so so far without even going into the other ones you're still winning okay you are winning the battle of attrition and you're going to have a better quarterback at the end let's talk about throw on the run scrambler had four improviser had four strong arm zero field general zero so you're still going to be competitive and throw on the run as well now your speed scrambler is the only one who got a speed upgrade one out of ten not great all right so that's why we were telling you agility improviser got two scrambler got one everyone else got zero Okay, so that's why you choose a guy who's already fast out of the gate. Acceleration. Scrambler got one. Everyone else got zero. So your chances of getting acceleration or speed from anything besides Scrambler is not a high percentage. It's a very low percentage. Let's talk about carrying. Scrambler got seven. Everyone else got zero. Okay, so you'll be winning on acceleration you'll be winning on speed on percentage basis you'll be winning on carrying let's go over ball carry vision two for scrambler zero on everyone else okay let's talk about play action strong arm got two everyone else got zero so you name it you pick one and you're going to basically be at to on the top just doing it the way we're telling you to do it scrambler 30 20 to 30 percent of the time you can do 30 percent of the time that's completely fine and strong arm the rest of the time okay and and just do it out of 10 but you pick and you're gonna you're gonna end up having a better quarterback on average than anyone else by upgrading it this way so you can get throw power with upgrading scrambler i just want to warn you about it it's incredibly rare Okay, it is. It's just rare. You're not going to see it a lot. You may get lucky and see it twice and be like, whoa, and then you won't see it again for a while, for a long time. Um, there is that. But I've upgraded all of these more times than you can even imagine, recorded all the data, and it's not a good look. Okay, but we're going to upgrade them here and show you guys. We're, we only got seven skill points, but we'll reset the league too. We're not going to do an entire 10, but let's just say we did Scrambler twice and then the rest strong arm here. Okay, so out of this but remember we're still doing it based on percentages so we'd still do it maybe 30 percent of the time scrambler and then 70 percent of the time strong arm so we're going to just do a smaller sample of this so the first time here you can see the throw accuracy mid throw on the run throw under pressure 
And let's do it one more time here. The rest we're going to do a uh, strong arm. Okay, so awareness, short accuracy. He did get that throw power, which like I was telling you, it can happen, but it is, it's rare. Okay, it's not going to happen a lot. Okay, here I did get an actual upgrade boost as well on my strong arm. He got the deep accuracy, the play action, and the awareness. Strong arm is one of the only ones that's going to get play action just on average. It's, it's going to be your highest average, right? So he's a 79 scrambler, and he just went to an 80 scrambler here. Okay, we got the awareness, the deep accuracy, throw under pressure. So you're hitting the best of both worlds. Uh, he actually didn't jump up on that one, but that's fine. Okay, so we're going to upgrade him again. You got the mid accuracy and the throw under pressure. He did upgrade on his scrambler there. We're going to upgrade him again. He upgraded on his scrambler again. He went to an 81. Awareness, his mid accuracy, and that's great. We're going to do the strong, act, strong arm again. And you can see that deep accuracy, throw under pressure, uh, and it was fantastic. So he's also jumped up. I mean, his medium accuracy went up. Everything went up, you know, quite a bit, and it was nice. His throw power even got a little bonus there, which is pretty fantastic. His awareness isn't, like, super high and crazy, which is great. Um, you know, looking much better. So at the end of it with seven upgrades, he goes to an 81 overall which is actually fantastic because i know he's getting better i can see it in his medium accuracy i can see it in the short accuracy even his deep accuracy i can see it his throw under pressure uh even his play action got a little bit of love there but what i'm not seeing is it's wow it's getting inflated with that awareness and it's just getting blown up and you're going to see at times you'll see like four awareness what and it's you know that that can happen but just on average we're talking on average here so this is the way you want to upgrade your quarterbacks if you're in user play no doubt about it so for simulation let's break this down the archetype is how the player thinks that's what you need to understand now, it's not as drastic in fast sim as it is in slow sim. Slow sim, you're going to see it magnified. Scrambling type quarterbacks are going to run, right? Pretty simple. They're going to run. If they have to throw the ball away trait, it's going to be horrible. You don't want a scrambling type quarterback where he's running and then the default hits to where he should throw the ball away. And then he throws the ball away and you're like, dude, you're running and you're not gaining any yards. And that could be very frustrating. Unless it's a design run where he becomes the running back and you have a system like the Ravens, scrambling type quarterbacks can really drive you nuts. You want more design runs. Improvising quarterbacks are technically the best quarterbacks, but they're flawed. And the reason they're flawed is because they will revert to running out of the pocket even when they shouldn't. You know, it'll be a perfect pocket and then boom, he runs out. And you're like, why are you just running out of the pocket when you don't need to run out of the pocket? And then if he has to throw the ball away trait as well, He'll start to escape the pocket and be like, oh, maybe I'll run, maybe I'll run, maybe I'm looking to pass. And then he's starting to run. He goes, okay, I'll run for the first. He starts running for the first. He sees someone coming out of left field, and then he throws the ball away, and it's like you could have easily gotten the first down there. So still the best quarterback is going to be strong arm in simulation. There are going to be quarterbacks that will drive you nuts because they'll backpedal for 15 yards, and you'll be like, dude, throw the ball away. Get out of the pocket. Do something else. Uh, but they're still going to be quarterbacks that are not going to get freaked out if they have the right traits. They're going to be sitting back there. They're going to be looking for a guy to get open, and they're going to just heave that beast. Okay, and so strong arm quarterbacks are your guys that are going to win a lot of Super Bowls with the right offensive line, the right, right wide receivers, the right playbook. Um, but they're also going to take some stupid sacks that other guys would not typically take, right? Field general quarterbacks, I don't really care for field general quarterbacks because it's going to inflate the awareness to the nth degree, and I really don't want that. Even in simulation, awareness is not going to be the biggest thing ever. It's just not. You'll eventually get awareness up, but there's plenty of times where you're taking quarterbacks that don't have high awareness, and they have good traits they have good attributes that we actually like and they've won us the super bowl and thrown for ungodly amounts of yards okay so just keep that into consideration but strong arm quarterbacks are guys that are just going to get you a lot of yards and they're going to get you a lot of touchdowns and and that's really if i'm paying a lot of wide receivers that's what i want and i'm paying my offensive line i have a really good offensive line i don't need my quarterback trying to make crazy stuff happen but what you want to think about is if I bump this awareness, so like let's pretend scrambler's not there. Improviser's a 73, strong arm's a 72, right? He is going to default as an improviser quarterback, even though the scrambling is right behind. He's going to be, even if it's only one point, he's an improviser quarterback, and that's what he thinks. I'm an improviser quarterback. I'm going to play like one. Now, if I upgrade this one time, 
and he jumps up and becomes a 74 strong arm somehow and he and he passes up improviser then he's automatically a strong arm quarterback even though it's only one point so that's what you have to think about when you're upgrading okay if i want a strong arm quarterback i can't allow something else to surpass that or you'll see in one week time you'll go from a strong arm quarterback to a scrambler or an improviser that quick okay and he'll default to that thought process and it's frustrating okay so so that's what you want to do if you're going to work on strong arm work on strong arm and then if you want to add in scrambler that's fine okay add in scrambler the same thing if you upgrade if if scrambler ends up surpassing improviser you no longer have an improvising quarterback even though it's just one so be careful on your upgrades realize which quarterback you want and keep making sure that that one's the the main the main one and go from there if i know strong arm is three points ahead in overall compared to every other one i can upgrade the scrambler then because I know it's not going to surpass the strong arm. And then I just will make sure that the one I want is on top. And then I could keep messing around with the other ones and upgrading them. And you could still do strong arm and then scrambler. And if you want to do improviser, make sure your improviser is high and then hit it with the scrambler. Okay, so these are ideas that you guys want to want to implement into your guys' leagues. You'll be successful. You'll know how the system works. And you guys will have dominant quarterbacks.